Come, Holy Spirit, open our hearts to prayer. Thank you for joining us in prayer. It is Tuesday, July 19th. I'm Father Ron. This is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And my my mouth mouth shall shall declare your praise. praise. Psalm 119, Section 2, Giving Back. You forgive me when I fail, O Lord, and you set me on my feet again. You have promised to strengthen me and sustain me in my daily conflicts. Now I pray for the wisdom to discern your will and the grace to carry it out in the days before me. You have shown me how much you love me, Lord. Now show me how to love you back. I can truly love you only as I proceed to love your children in this world. I can serve you only as I commit my life to service on behalf of my brothers and sisters. I can offer sacrifices to you only as I sacrificed to meet my neighbor's need. This is your law and standard, your design and will for my life. This is the way in which I will be pleasing to you. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 12, verses 47 to 50. While Jesus was speaking, someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. Jesus said in reply, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Whoever does the will of the Father is as important to Jesus as his mother was to him. This means if you and I strive to listen and conform our lives to God's will, we are deemed as near to Jesus as Mary. Imagine that. Recall at the Annunciation, Mary opened herself to the angel's invitation to bring Jesus into our world. And throughout her life, she continually chose to listen and act in accord with the Spirit's bidding. This scripture does not diminish Mary or her relationship with her son. Rather, it elevates it. Indeed, the Blessed Mother was the first disciple, the model par excellence after Jesus of hearing and doing the will of God. So, when have I, you, sought to know and act on the Father's will? And how do we do it? For me, in my daily life, I start by asking the Spirit to lead me. Then I listen for an inspiration or a gentle push in one direction or the other. This action of the Spirit touches me personally taps my freedom as a child of God. Sometimes the nudge comes from within me. At other times, it comes from events or other people. 
I'm always free to choose what I perceive as best. With big decisions, I use a three-step process suggested by Father Hugh O'Donnell, CM, in an article on Vincentian discernment. The first step is to pray for openness to the will of God. Father Hugh calls this being unrestrictedly ready. Next, I weigh the evidence, the pros and cons, with a listening heart, reflecting on my motives, purposes, and the means, thinking about the outcomes and consequences of each. These deliberations involve questions of information, insight, facts, and values, the internal and external evidence. The third step is to seek counsel from a wise woman, a wise man, someone who is trustworthy. I speak to my spiritual director most often. Thus, I pray for openness. I weigh the evidence and seek counsel. Only then am I able to decide. Determining God's will is a conscious, sometimes tedious process in which the Spirit often has us wait for an answer. However, Doing this work is well worth the effort, since the result is being as close to Jesus as Mary is. With our hearts and minds turned to God, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, I am constantly asking you to give me your strength, to change me and heal me. But nothing is more empowering and life-transforming than simply adoring you. Inject the truth of your wisdom your love and holiness deep down into my heart until it catches fire there and makes me new. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord bless and keep you and shed his light upon you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What a lovely thing it is to pray together, (laughs) isn't it not? Me, you, the team, and tens of thousands of others around the world in community at the God Minute. Gosh, God is good, friends. Thank you for being a part of our family, and may your day now be blessed with his love. And we'll see you tomorrow.